basically we're going to talk about the four elements of running fitness. If you apply these four elements into your running fitness, the sky's the limit. Number one, long runs. If you apply long runs into your training, that's going to build your endurance. Building your endurance. So basically when you do do your long runs, you don't go out fast. There's no world records going on here. It's nice and easy long miles. Logging into miles essentially. Okay? Two, speed work. Going on a track and just doing 200s, 300s, 400s, 800s, 1200s, and just really pacing your body, used to killing yourself so your body just gets adapted to that stress you're putting on your body. Number three, probably one of the most important ones out of the three, is a tempo run. It's when you apply both those together. So you got a long run, you have distance, and then you have speed. The thing is, a tempo run is also like race pace. Most people, they go out and they race and they think, man, I'm, I'm, I'm running really far, really slow, and I do really fast 400s, whatever, so that means my 5K or my 10K is gonna be really fast. But it never connected it. So what a tempo run is basically keeping a certain pace or a certain time or mileage and keeping that pace as best as you can. So a good tempo run would be, hey, I'm gonna run two miles at this certain pace. And that basically is like race speed. So you so practice your body race. So when you do show up to race day, you're like, oh, I got this. I don't have butterflies in my belly because this is what I've done in training, okay? Fourth, most important out of all of them is recovery. If you're not recovering, you're in trouble. If you're gonna kill yourself in training and you don't recover, you're in trouble. And that can be fall into any category. Sleeping, nutrition, um, active recovery. So many different elements you can touch on. But if you have those four, long run, speed work, tempo runs, and recovery, you can meet your goals. But there's one problem. You can only go so far with bad technique. The thing is, is bad technique can lead to the number one thing, injury. You want to stay away from injury. The thing is, in my years of coaching running, what I've noticed is that a lot of places a lot of doctors, a lot of PTs, they basically have solutions for people that are injured. Not so much injury prevention. There are companies out there that do injury, injury prevention, but they're not teaching economics and running, and they're not teaching what's going to work best for you in your running form. It's going to keep you injury free. Think about that, okay? So ask yourself, am I the most efficient runner today? If I go out and do those four elements and just kill myself, will I meet my goals? Am I being efficient while I'm doing this work? That's the question I want to plague you with to start thinking about. I'll see you in the next video.